What's going on guys, Sean Guts here back with another video. Today's video is gonna be a mohawk crop on top with lots of texture. Burst fade on one side, we'll do a freestyle design on the other side. Guys, this is one of my subscribers that travel for a haircut. Super dope experience. Hope you guys like it. Let's get right to it. All right guys, so we got the back set up, the little V in the back, and you guys just wanna work that little by little until it looks symmetrical. Usually guys, I would do that, and then I would go in and start my ball guideline, but I noticed that this hair on top definitely needed to be cut and trimmed out of the way first. So if you guys see the length that will lay and kind of touch the side, we section that to the side, and everything else we left into the front. He does have a receding hairline, so we wanna leave a lot of that. We're just gonna do blonde graduation along the sides of the mohawk. Guys, we're wanting to create a hard blonde edge at the edge of the color that we can fade up into. So you guys see, I'm gonna create that with blog graduation across the sides and then down the back. And once we're done with that, we can move on. We will cut the top, add some texture, and then we'll get into the fade after that. All right, so now to get started on the sides, we're gonna start off with the number three, guys. This is on my Babyliss FX. You guys know I like to use these. They like to feed the hair, so I'm gonna be able to cut right up into that color and create that hard edge that we're looking for. So we're basically gonna cut the whole side down to a three to set ourselves up. You can see it's not cutting a whole lot. Then we can come in and start to fade. Now we're gonna start our bald guideline. Guys, we're gonna follow exactly the shape of the color break that we just set up. So you guys will just follow it. I'm using my Slimline Pros. We're gonna create a circle around the ear that is the exact shape of the mohawk or the color that you can see uh, that we started with. So we're just gonna cut that. We'll ball it out underneath. We'll go ahead and come in with the shaver and get it down to skin, and we'll start our first step. Now we're gonna come in with our Stylecraft Saber. I just got this clipper. If you guys didn't see the unboxing and review and you wanna check it out, click the card up above. Guys, I'm definitely loving this clipper, but I got a surprise for you. I actually just traded somebody back for the Mythic because I wanted the black clipper that matched my setup. So you guys will see that in the videos coming up, but if you guys wanna check out the video on the Saber, I'm definitely loving it, so go check that out. Guys, we're gonna go up three quarters of an inch from our initial guideline following the same exact shape. And when you guys are dealing with the hair in the back, obviously the Mohawk drops and goes straight down. So we can't turn our clipper sideways. We're just gonna use three or four or five teeth of that clipper and come straight up. And then obviously on the side of the head where we're at right now, we can use the width of the clipper. So once the guidelines established, we'll come in with the clipper closed at the bottom of the section, halfway open in the middle of the section, and we already set our guideline in with the lever all the way open.
Next up, we're gonna come in with a one guard all the way open and we're gonna go up another, probably a half inch. I see I'm getting close to this weight. Guys, I wanna leave it kind of a weighted heavy edge to really accentuate that blonde. So I'm gonna go up about a half inch. We're gonna pack this a little bit tighter. Obviously guys, that open section is the difficult area to get done. So you can really see right there what I was doing. I'm using just two or three teeth of the blade and following that guideline to make sure that I get a nice clean guideline when I'm working with a mohawk. Now because there's so much hair above this, like I just said, we're gonna go ahead and fade down from the weight. So we'll come in with the two, and then we're gonna work our way down with the one and a half. Obviously guys, we just did the one, but this will help that transition up into that. Obviously we started with the three, and you can see we didn't have a whole lot of room to work. So we're just gonna go ahead and fade our way down. Now, of course, guys, after the two close, we will come in with the one and a half halfway open, and we already did the open one. So this should really connect everything together and just leave us that very bottom line above the open section. So we'll go through this a couple times, make sure it looks nice. Then we can work on that one close and the half guard to polish up the rest of this cut. Now we're back down to the one. We're gonna use it all the way closed, guys, and we're gonna start to work on this last guideline in between the one section and the open section. So it's closed, you're gonna see, it is gonna lighten it up just a little bit, but when we come in with that half guard, it's really gonna clean up the rest of this line, and you guys will see this thing will just blur together all of a sudden. Last but not least, we are gonna use the half guard. Halfway open is the sweet spot, and we're just gonna get any hints of a line that are left. Obviously, guys, you can see the front is pretty blended. The back, we still have a little line, so we will come through that with this half guard, and it should bring it all together. All right, moving on to the other side. Guys, we're gonna do the same steps. I did learn my lesson here. I'm gonna come in with a two on this side. And if you see, I'm just slowly letting that clipper feed into that blonde. We're gonna set this side up. We're gonna do a freestyle design. So I'm basically just gonna cut this down with the two. Make sure that we have a nice connection to the blonde. Then we'll come in underneath with the one and a half, set the panel up all nice and even with the one and a half. Then we'll start our design. All right, we're gonna start to etch the design in. Guys, you wanna do this just little by little. So we're gonna thicken it up as we go. We want very nice, sharp lines, and we want tight angles. And by tight angles, guys, you can see that's like a Z, a letter Z, and we don't wanna turn that into like an L um, or anything that's like a 90 degree angle. That is gonna take away from the sharpness and the flow of the design. So you guys will see we do very tight angles, and then the back will do the same thing. And we're just gonna kind of flip it out to the back. And once it's established, then we can come in, we'll start to focus on cleaning up that top line. Each of the corners, we'll make sure they're bolted out how we like, and then we can start to thicken it up where we want. So you guys just wanna be very careful, go little by little. Once we get this etched in, we'll clean it up all the way, and then we can fade underneath it. All right guys, now we're just gonna fade underneath the design. I am using the double magnetics. I wanted to see how they worked. All you guys always complain on my unboxings that I use my color guards and never talk about how the double magnetics work. And now obviously the double magnetics are black. Guys, if you saw my unboxing, they did have color on them and I said it was lime green, but they're actually all colored exactly the same as my color guide, but unfortunately it's on the side that's facing the head so you guys can't tell. So basically we came under the design with the open one. Now we're coming in with the closed one. We'll keep fading down with the half guard. Then we'll set our ball guideline and fade that last little part out. Get the edge up going, get it all nice and finished, and you guys can check out the end result.
we're gonna do some color enhancement on the vertical bars. We will hit the design a little bit, come in and do a little bit of razor work. And guys, I want you to leave a comment down below and let me know. I did the design with the enhancements. Looking back at it now, I wish I would have left it alone. I think it looks sharper before. And sometimes guys, you just overdo it just slightly with the enhancements you guys are gonna see at the end. There's just gonna be a spot on the back, kind of the bottom corner of the design that I just don't love. And obviously it's a curved design. It's gonna be hard to spray accurately. Once we put the razor on it, I don't know. I just didn't like how it changed it. So you guys leave a comment down below. Let me know if you liked it better with the enhancements or better before. It does turn out sharp, but I'm hard on myself. That's one thing I'm trying to work on is, you know, if I'm gonna enhance a design, I usually use fibers. Sometimes the no drip is just harder to spray. So you guys let me know what you think. Now we're coming in guys, this is the 245 triple cartridge razor with the blade fully exposed. And this is why I like the exposed. I can come in this design, I can really see what I'm doing. Of course I did apply 245 shave gel. It's just gonna help the blade glide so we can get this design nice and sharp. So we'll just go through this all the way, make it nice and sharp. We'll style up the top and you guys can check it out. All right, now we're gonna apply some clay, guys. This is Marmara Barber Space. Doesn't really say what it is. I think it's kind of a clay. I think it's actually called a space wax, but it really does remind me of 245 Indestructible Clay. So I'm just gonna apply that, work it all the way through the hair. Then I will kind of comb the hair back down. Like I said, guys, he has a little bit of receding hairline. He wanted to make sure that we covered up. So I like to take a wide tooth comb, comb it down. Then we're gonna go ahead and clean up his hairline a little bit. It does look a little bit long. So we will comb that down. We're gonna come across with some trimmers and get it cleaned up. I'm gonna flow it right into the design on the other side, and then we'll be done with the cut. All right, guys, there's my man Levi before. Like I said, he is a subscriber, drove two hours from Illinois to come get a cut. It was dope meeting you, dude. And there you go, guys. There's the finished product, crop top mohawk with a freestyle design on one side, burst fade on the other. If you guys didn't check out that Sabre video, definitely go check it out. I am loving that clipper. If you guys like this video, smash that thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of the cut. Make sure you subscribe, guys. I got a GMB Pro unboxing coming. I got a new bag, and you guys are going to love it. So check that out Sunday. I appreciate you guys watching, as always, and I'll catch you next time.